Alright guys, welcome back. Um, let's see. Let's try going this way. Because we haven't gone this way yet. And I figure that means there's probably something good here. Theoretically. So. <laughs> oh, vines everywhere. Impairing movement. Um, and uh, thanks to DAC105, who made the, um, the maps, the Forlorn Gorge map, um, he, blah, 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 he directed me towards a video that, um, showed me how to allocate more memory to Minecraft, and, um, I did, and it should be working better. I've noticed that when I press F3, the little thing in the bottom isn't as high as it used to be, um, like down here. Uh, I think the reason it's red now is just because I'm running around doing stuff. If I did it properly, that is. Um, but I was in a creative world and the the frame rate just dropped. Oh, and maybe because I'm recording, so it's limiting it to 30 frames per second. Um, but I don't really know. <laughs> so let's take that off because I know it's hard to look at. Uh, okay, let's see. There's got to be something somewhere. Uh, well, we seem to have hit a desert. Near meat. Let's harvest these chickens. I'm going to make it a thing. It's. I'm going to keep saying that. You can't stop me. Um... There's got to be something else over here. It looks like we're on quite a peninsula. So. Hmm. Could be wrong, though. Maybe I'm just running out here for no absolutely no reason. Alright, did I change? I did. Okay. I noticed that the volume was pretty low in my last episode um, for the in game volume. So I turned it up to 20 because I may have had it at like 7. <laughs> um because I did I really didn't want it interfering and um I don't know why I would have oh. That's new. All right. Looks like we got another dungeon. I'm tempted to just climb up it. Up the side. I don't trust it. They're not silverfish blocks. I should have looked down before I ran into there. Maybe this is a victory monument. I mean, it's, it's got a nice lookout. It's got some little iron bars down at the bottom. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh. Ah! No. Bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Probably not the Victory Monument. Most likely not the victory line. Um, nether wart. That's nice. I have my chest plate. Take that. Those. Take those. Take those. I have no use for that. Oh, chain boots. I'll take those because, um... I don't have any space for that. Um... Because I don't want to waste my, my gold boots in combat. So I'll just equip them if I'm climbing up something big and you know. I guess I don't really need those. Ow! Okay, you're just a meanie butt. Okay. Ow so are you. I hate skeletons. Quit it. 
there a way up here? There it is. Okay, they definitely just spawned there. Hi, buddy. Ah, I missed. There we go. He doesn't even care. Why does that look like a trap? <laughs> okay, there's a skeleton spawner. I really hope there's no, like, explosion traps that aren't obvious or that you can't just run away from because that would be kind of mean. Oh, just let me... No. Oops, that didn't work so well. Okay, first off, I'm gonna light off this room. Light up this room. And then, oh, that didn't work so well. Um, and then I'm gonna just wall off this room. There we go. Stick a torch in there. To discourage spawning. Uh, I just woke up, so my being sick isn't helping right now. Um, but uh, hopefully it won't be too bad. This room is so big! Maybe this is the Victory Monument, just because it's so sprawling. See, that's how you kill skeletons. I love it when I just get all awesome for a second and kill some bad guys. I look like a pro and everything. Ow! Except that time. That one didn't. Oh god. Dang it! The reason I'm doing it like this is so spiders can't get through. I'll deal with that room later. Skeleton spawner and ah, what well, looks like a creeper spawner. Oh, and that's probably a spider spawner. Ow. Okay, we're not doing too bad here. Um. Ow. <laughs> Those arrows just bounced right off my face. Well, his buddies are busy killing each other, so. Oh god. Ow! Right in the face! I need to make more torches soon. Ow! Okay. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. That one, too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's the blazes. Okay. They're sealed in as far as I'm aware. Ah! Ow. Jerk face. I hate how spiders sometimes don't get knocked back. Can I hit him in the feet? I can. And probably in the face. Ah! Oh, jeez. You know what? I need a bucket of water. That would be nice. <laughs> okay, blaze spawner's down. No need to worry about that. Um, like, as nice as blaze rods are, uh, we already have that... Well, I'll take the blaze rod anyway, just in case I want to make a strength potion. Oh, God, silverfish. Oh, God, silverfish. Silverfish everywhere. That makes me a little upset. 
Oh, and cave spiders. Fantastic. No, no. 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 Oh, phew. I'm just destroying it. <laughs> I don't need that right now. Let's make some more torches. Oh. I was like, man, three is an odd number of, tor of sticks to be left with after that. And then I realized that I just had, um... Not made enough. Yes, yeah, so this entire floor is silverfish. Oh, this makes me nervous. Oh, this floor isn't. Oh, some of them are. And was that silverfish, or was it just spiders? It may just have been spiders, and I thought it was silverfish. For no apparent reason. Um, take those, take these again. Can I do them one of the... No. Darn it! Um, I really don't need string. I, I do like arrows, though. I'll take this bow, just because it's newer. Bricks? Yeah, do that. Um, okay, we're good. I don't know where those spiders are. Probably underneath us. But, you know... Oh, how long have I been recording? Oh, crap. <laughs> I forgot to check. Um, whoa, you just totally didn't see you there, buddy. That was a silverfish. Okay, come back in here and finish lighting up this room. Oh boy, I don't like the looks of that. So I'm going to seal it off. <laughs> Did I finish lighting up this room? No. Big dark corner. I mean, I'm not going to be able to stop all the mob spawns, but I will get most of them. No. And I mean, as long as I'm not coming into a room with 15 mobs in it, it'll be fine. It's probably nighttime right now, which is why there's not so many mobs spawning down here. Because um, under normal circumstances, in the daytime, this room should be filled with mobs. But, it's not. Or all of these rooms should be filled with mobs, not just this one. Another really big room. That's just making me nervous. I thought I heard something. Um, bricks? I might as well just take these bricks and turn them into actual bricks. Um, oh, my cell phone went off. Uh, let's see. Nothing else. I don't need a cookie. Okay, you know what, let's, let's... Uh, I want to say let's not worry so much about lighting stuff up. Because we have very few spawns as it is. Um, and I'm just using a ridiculously large amount of torches. See, like, ah, oh, man. Glad that wasn't a poison spider. I would have been screwed. See, it's it's rooms like these that I just want to avoid. Whoa, did I just walk into a wall? Or? I don't know. Oh, God, spiders, I hate you. Okay. Now, I think they just spawned randomly, which is, like, why I wanted to light the place up, because I don't want to just run into rooms where there's tons of mobs. <laughs> Merely because I didn't, you know, like, you know, run back through a room with tons of mobs just because I didn't want to, um, waste time standing around lighting up torches or waste coal making torches. Because, like, you can see I'm running out of torches now. Ah! I hate spiders. They like to, uh... 
attack in large numbers. Okay, this way it's not necessary. Um, and in fact, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take all these torches. Um, now that I've explored the area. And we're going to just seal off the doorways to places that don't go down. Like this room, not important. I'll seal off right here. I'm gonna eat this so I have, uh, so I can regenerate health, and I'll be able to um, do it over here. Um, it will allow me to get rid of that um, pork chop because it wasn't doing me any good. Uh, let's see. Come back down here. Grab this one. Because these are this is a lot of torches that I placed down. They're really not going to be doing anything over here except making more things spawn down there. So hopefully, by removing all these torches again, I'll encourage spawns up here. And uh, discourage spawns down there. Let's see what's in here. Alright, that's just another room that, um, like, I think there's a way down in that room right there. Actually, I know there's a way down in that room right there, because there's a way down over here, so. Okie There we go. Moving on. Sorry you guys have to watch this. Uh -huh. Like... I would do editing and stuff, but, well, my form of editing would be, like, just stopping the recording and then picking it back up, but, um, I don't want you guys to miss something if I, like, accidentally fall through a hole or something like that. That'd be pretty upsetting for me if all of you guys had to miss out on that just because I stopped recording. that room down. Oops. What am I doing? <laughs> I want to use as few blocks as possible, so... Um, because I do have a limited amount of blocks, so I don't want to be wasting them all. Also, I hope I left nothing of value in these chests, because, um, I'm not going to be getting to them. Anyway, yeah, it's always best to do dungeons at night. Like, I know I've said that before, especially in a world like this, where the surface is all dark at night. Um, it's going to be your best bet for, uh, let's see, this, that room goes into that one. Yeah, okay, so we can seal off this room. And, uh, head back through this one. See, look, we've already got mobs spawning in the other rooms that we just unlit, like, 30 seconds ago. Wow, that's a lot of mobs in there. Okay. Well, it's working. It might be daytime now. In which case, I may just want to, uh, wait until nighttime to run through this dungeon. See, we just picked up a whole stack of torches from doing that. I approve. Okay, what's down there? Whoa, did not mean to jump there. And, of course, these are all silverfish blocks. Um, I'm going to put on my feather falling boots and jump down. And then climb up. And take these ladders. And head back down. I 
wonder how deep these go. There's a bunch of spawners in there. Hello. Ow. Did you just lead your shot? You're not supposed to be smart. Well, then again, he just missed point blank, so... Can't give him too much credit. Okay, I'll put my chain boots back on. My inventory's getting pretty full. I don't like it. I mean, I, I throw that down now, but I'll probably just pick it up as I walk by later. This room has nothing of interest. So we will just... I don't know why I did that all weird. I could have just outlined it, but instead I went... <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. This room... Again, nothing of interest, but there is a there is a door there that I'm gonna want to explore at some point. No, thank you. I don't know what that was a spawner of, but whatever it is, it's not good. It might be a creeper spawner. How that I think about it. Took out that skeleton spawner. Oh, it's the silverfish spawner. Um, excuse me. Did you just fall through the hole in the ceiling? I thought I lit it up up there. <laughs> Looks like this might just loop around to um, the other room. I mean, there may be something in one of these rooms, but I believe that it just... Yep, it just loops around to here. Kill these zombies. Come on, you can do better than that. Taking you out by the dozens. Um, th that's not food. That's not food either. Here we go. Um... See, I'm gonna guess that we're around um, <clears throat> 18 minutes in. Yes, kill each other. There you go. I don't feel like wasting my sword on that. Ah, buddy. Oh no. Oh, that should not have happened. Okay, that way is walled off. I'm only keeping this room lit because there is the hole to the upstairs from here. Um, and if I fall in, I don't want to be trapped. <laughs> For whatever reason. I don't know why I'd fall in, but... Okay, this way seems to be the only path through to here. And I'm assuming that this place actually has a purpose and isn't just here to mess with you and make you waste time. Um, because that's... While it probably would happen in real life, it's not very um, uh, good in video games because people don't like to be messed with all the time. Oh, God. I should have just jumped in here like that because there's no way out unless I just build blocks. Come on, come get me. Scratching my head. Okay, okay. Uh, he's dead. Alright, sounds like there's a lot of zombies downstairs. This doesn't look comforting. Where? Oh, jeez. Apparently I didn't disable that. <laughs> I was like, where's he shooting me from? I don't see him. Let's just get rid of that. No point in keeping it around. And light up over here too. Just so nothing spawns up there while I'm trying to make my little stairway down here. Put a torch down. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill the creepers here. Really? 
four arrows. Oh crap, that spawner's in range. Okay. We're out of range on the spawner now, so we can just start taking people down. People. They're not people, they're mobs. Oh, hi there, spider. Get this zombie dead. Get that creeper dead. It's gonna be experience all over the place when I'm done here. Get that creeper dead. Almost couldn't reach him from there. Get that spider. Nope, not gonna work. Hey there, buddy. Oh, there's gotta be a creeper spawner underneath me. Jeez, that spider spawner is just pouring out spiders. Eat something real quick. See, that's more like what I was expecting. I think that last one just happened to spawn like four spiders at once. Oh, didn't mean to break that torch. Oh god, this is dangerous. Well, that helps. Oh god. See, only one creeper can come up at a time. This is where it's smart. Okay, come on, guys. Alright, sorry about not talking and stuff. Uh, <laughs> just concentrating a little bit. Alright, light up this room. Oh, that spider spawner needs to be broken. <laughs> that zombie dropped a iron helmet when he died. Oh dear god. Okay, break this. Let's see, how's my iron helmet doing? Oh, I can get a new one. go. And I am going to use up the blocks to, uh, oh god, play spawner, or er, gas spawner down there, so. Well, we know where to look now. Um, I should have no problems killing that gas with, with arrows, but you never know. Um, see, this room I want to light up because I have to go through it to get back. And you don't really want to be um, running through a bunch of mobs when you're running away. You know, it's, it's always better to have a safe place behind you. Or to make sure that behind you is a safe place. Because otherwise you're going to be running around with uh, no safe place to run and you're going to die. And I see a lot of people do that um, in Minecraft. Because, like, I, I don't know what makes... the gives them the urge to do so, but they just, like, don't light things up as they go along and then wonder why things are dropping on their heads. And I'm like, it's because you didn't light stuff up when you were going by, and then everything's coming up from behind you and killing you. I mean, like, it's one thing to have, like, one or two mobs spawn behind you, but if you leave everything dark, then you're gonna have armies behind you, and that's not good. <laughs> like, you can take an army on one side... But what's that a spawn for? Oh, just more zombies. Let's break this one real quick. Okay, I need to get out of here. Choke points are good. Oh, no they're not. Never mind. Um, choke points are normally good, except these guys just get in... <coughs> They just kind of get in the way. Um, like, when you uh, try to put them through a choke point, if there's a mob behind the mob you hit, he uh, will just... Oh, yeah, see, this is just an empty room. I don't really know why I bothered too much to come in here. There's blazes down there, and or at least fire. I suppose it doesn't necessarily have to be a blaze. Because I don't hear the blaze noise, just the fire noise. Okay, here's our way down. Again, let's uh, check the time. 
Okay, I'm thinking we're probably past 30 minutes, but you're gonna get an extra, like, 5 minutes anyway, because I don't remember. I forgot to check. Okay, what does that spawn? It looks like skeletons. Just the one spawner, I think, so... We can take these guys out from range. How many arrows do I have? Oh, plenty. I mean, I've probably used, like, 30 since I got in here, but... Man, my mouse is just going a little weird today. Mouse goes weird a little... every day. Um, it goes a little weird every day. I don't really know what causes that, but... My mouse just likes to, uh... be a little unresponsive sometimes, which... isn't that helpful. <laughs> So, uh, let's see what's in this chest. I'm gonna just wanna... or it's just gonna spawn. I was expecting some kind of delay before it started spawning. Once I got in range, but no, apparently not. Oh my god, where did you come from? No. No. Okay, light up all the walls. Oh, he may have just come through here. Wait, but that doesn't make any sense, because I was... Maybe they can spawn from up there? I don't know. But just in case, I'm lighting up all the walls, because there may be um, a cave spider spawner hidden somewhere in the walls. And I don't want that. Also, I don't know why that's like that. Okay, and light it up, light it up, light it up, light it up. Destroy it. Okay. That's good. Um, oh, out of torches again. And we're going through a bunch of our coal pretty quickly. Um, hopefully we'll find more coal in a chest somewhere. Owie! Thank you. Did I get experience for that? That was weird. Ha! Ah. Okay, that room looks a little disconcerting. Um... Chain sword, I believe, is better than iron. Oh, well, if it is, it doesn't really show, but oh well. Um, got another golden apple. Can't carry more of that. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, let's uh, grab this. I don't want that spider eye. We'll take that. And I guess a compass. Hi, zombie. <laughs> At the very least, lighting up a spawner should slow down the rate of spawns, if it doesn't stop it entirely. Oh god. Okay. Uh, I, I really just don't want blazes spawning. <laughs> because the two things that are the most dangerous mobs in the game are- oh god. Um are blazes and cave spiders. And that's because you can't get a res- well, you can get a resistance to them, but, um, to their type of damage, but, like, well, poison, you have no resistance for. You can't not take damage from the poison. Um, you can stop the poison with milk, but I don't have milk, so, uh, that's not quite the- quite a useful strategy. Um, it's not a very applicable strategy, I guess. Um, and oop, for blazes, you can get a fire resistance potion, but again, I don't have a fire resistance potion. There was a slime ball somewhere up there, and I could make a fire resistance potion now, but um, if I do, I'm not going to be using it for something like this. That'd be kind of just silly to go and waste um, fire resistance potion on where there might be like one blaze. Uh, oh, one of the zombies dropped a shovel. Okay. I think we're going to set up a little base here, um, just entirely block off this wall for now. I mean, not permanently, obviously, but just um, so we can get our bearings and I'm going to light this up over here because I don't want this happening. <laughs> exactly what just happened, I don't want that to happen. Um, Man, I'm glad that I got that sword, because I wasn't paying attention. I totally would have just let the sword break, un like, in combat, and then not known what to do.
Is there... Oh, there is. Right there. Okay. Well, I'll know that that... When I get to that wall and see that, uh, brick in it, I'll know that this wall is on the... Is, this room is on the other side of it. I could just, like, you know, run through, but I'm not going to. Like, just skip this room entirely and go through there. But that would mean skipping this room, and I don't want to do that. Um, okay, so let us stop for a minute, and since this is, you know, near the end of the episode, um, we'll make a furnace and cook up some food, because our food supply is getting a little low. Um, can't consolidate this yet. Let's see, we'll make a little trash pile over here. Don't need that, don't need that. Um, I don't really need these bones. Oh, I suppose I could just use this gravel to build down before, instead of hopping down and then building up with bricks. Especially because bricks are kind of valuable since I... Where did all my bricks go? There they are. <laughs> I was like, since I only have, uh, uh, none. Um, yeah, I, I do have sandstone I don't like using because gas can blow it up. But if I'm in a place where there's no gas, then it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, Alright, so we're cooking. Let's eat that first. Um, do we have an ender pearl, so getting out should be easy. Like, getting out of one of these holes should be pretty easy if I need, if I panic, you know? Um, it's always nice to have a panic option <laughs> if something goes horribly, horribly wrong. I don't really know what the compass would be used for, but, um, eh, I'll have it around anyway, just in case. Um, alright, so I think that's just gonna be the end of this episode. Um, Next time we'll go in there and take care of the gas and everything and see what's going on and um, hopefully finish this dungeon. I'm kind of surprised that we didn't get it finished today because normally we seem to be getting them done every half hour. But, oh well. Um, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!